Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we will be creating a very simple poster design uh, as always in Photoshop. So if you guys are enjoying my contents, please do subscribe my channel because it will help me a lot and keeps motivating me to create those kind of contents. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for 4 by 5 inch uh, composition size. Just make the resolution as 300 and keep the color mode to RGB and let's click on create. And right off that, let's uh, drag and drop this background image right over here. And Control T, let's make it a little smaller and you can also convert it as a smart object. But for this tutorial, I'll just keep it like that and let's maybe like something like that and let's uh, go over here and let's choose a quick selection tool and let's make a copy of this layer so ctrl j and let's turn that visibility off for the bottom layer and let's make a selection around this building and again i just want to make a rough selection it doesn't has to be perfect so i just want to get the, that building portion out from one of my layer but again if you have time and want to do like more refined way please go for a pen tool and even for my client works I specifically like to use the pen tool it's, uh, it's so handy for me and let's uh, create a layer max so this is what we have now let's uh, drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it under this layer so yep something like that Control t let's make it a little smaller yep somewhere around here and let's turn that bottom layer on so this is what we have now let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's uh, make it a little smaller and let's go for a kind of darker color and let's add a shadow on the bottom so just to give a kind of depth fill and let's decrease the opacity just like so yep yep something like that and then let's uh, drag and drop this image right over here and control T let's make it the really smaller maybe somewhere around this size and let's change the blending mode to oh, multiply and let's go over here add a hue and saturation or maybe you know what like let's do a color adjustment so select this layer go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and from here Let's increase noise reduction, color noise reduction and go to the basic tab. Let's increase the shadows. Let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture and let's dehaze it a little bit. Let's drop down the highlights and then let's go to the detail tab oh, color mixer tab and let's drop everything. Uh, minus 100 except for the reds I just want to keep those reds and let's increase the red a little bit yep something like that and let's click on okay yep we have something like that and you know what like let's turn off the visibility for this one and let's work on this thing first so let's go over here now let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and Let's go with the general soft round brush. Let's increase the brush size and maybe let's go for a kind of warmer color. And then let's change the blending mode to... Let's change it to overlay or I think overlay is too much. Maybe let's go for... Yep, let's go for a screen. And let's create a one more layer. Right click, create clipping max and let's add some some kind of 
rim is or rim glow uh, over here and let's do the same thing right over here too yep something like that let's change the blending mode to screen too let's increase the brush size and yep somewhere around here so this is before and this is after and control T let's keep it maybe a little closer yep somewhere around here and then let's create a one more layer go to the brush again and let's increase the brush size and let's change the color to a little lighter and and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep somewhere around here and let's turn that layer on and let's create a new layer go to the brush and from here let's go for uh, this fabric brush and if you want to get this brush please check on the description list below so let's see i'll just go with the uh, you know what like let's see not this one yep maybe i'll just go with this one and let's create a layer let's add a fabric and right click let's uh, create a clipping max and let's change the blending mode to let's go with the soft light or you know what let's go with the hard light and control G, let's make it a little bigger and let's add some rotation let's keep it maybe right over here just like so and then now let's create a one more layer on top of this layer go to the brush and this time I will just go for a different fabric brush maybe let's use this one and let's change the color to kind of darker color and for this layer i guess i'll just make this layer a black and white so maybe everything under this layer let's keep it as a black and white let's drop down the opacity yeah just like so and let's do the same thing for this layer too let's go over here add a hue and saturation let's click on clip to layer so this will only affect this specific layer and let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 all right let's do some color adjustment for this specific layer so select uh, this main image and then let's go to the filter and let's apply a camera raw filter and for this one too i just want to keep that red and desaturate all other colors so let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and i think it it's looking pretty okay but uh, for this one i'll just increase the texture just a little bit and just drop down the whites a little more and let's click on okay you know what like let's make this layer a little smaller Control t Now from here let's go over here and let's go for a pen tool and let's change it to a shape and let's change the feel to kind of red color and let's remove the stroke and let's change the blending mode to multiply control T let's make a rotation yep let's keep it something like that Control J and then let's keep it above this layer Control T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's add one right over here and again uh, Control J Control T let's add a rotation and let's keep it one right over here yep just like so and then now let's add some other uh, design elements so let's go over here let's 
type D E S I G and design. Let's skip it all the way to the bottom. Uh, maybe right over here. Control T. Let's increase the font size. And let's skip it right over here. And let's add a skew. Maybe just like so. And then Control J. Let's make a copy. T U T. And Control T. Let's skip it right over here and let's add some uh, extra design elements so go over here let's go for uh, another text I'll, I'll just go with this font so let's mm, I'll just go with this font and let's make it a extra bold and then control T let's make it a little bigger and let's add some other extra shapes let's go let's add a rectangle and let's change the fill to kind of white let's uh, keep it right over here alt and drag let's keep one maybe right around here Alt and oh sorry, let's make a copy, alt and drag, control T. Let's make it a little smaller, yep, something like that. And now let's add some other text. Uh, so let's see. Control J, let's add a stroke and let's drop down the fill. Let's increase, yep, let's keep it like that. Control J, one more and let's move it a little up and let's drop down the opacity to 45, maybe this one to 50, or maybe let's drop it down, yep, maybe something like that and let's go over here and let's add a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a back darker color yep something like that and let's add a layer on the bottom just to make those text visible and let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's add a one more text on the very top and now let's do a final color touch up so go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and i'll just use my moodlet so select this one and click on load so this is what we have and if you uh, like to do some other extra adjustment let's add some uh, kind of uh, background or fog over here so let's make it a little lighter color So just that those textures going to pop up. Yep, just like so. Let's do the same thing on very top over here. Let's create one layer. And then let's change the color to white. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. And maybe right over here too mm. 
and let's drop down the opacity just like so and again you know what i don't like these parts so maybe i'll just get rid of this one and then i'll just add a simple date and let's make it just a bold and let's drop down the size yep just like so and and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye